If you're like me and you're trying to play Fallout 3 on your ROG Ally, and when you go and click a new save, and yes, start a new game, your game just crashes like mine does. So you just automatically crashes. I'm gonna show you how you can fix that today. So all you gotta do, you just gotta go into your browser of choice, whether that's uh, Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome. And you just wanna come to the search bar at the top here and look up alternate D three D nine space fix. And then you can do fallout three at the end and hit enter. And from here, you'll see this top one from Nexus mods, alternate D three D nine fix for ATI plus. So yep, you just click on that one right there. And then you just want to come down to the download section so what this is is just a it's just a quick fix for um fallout new vegas as well as fallout 3 it works for both of them so you just want to click this manual download and then scroll down okay let's get the login so i'm going to log in real quick okay now that you're logged in you just want to scroll down to this and you want to do the slow download unless you have the premium but i don't have premium so i'm just going to do slow download and then download has started and you'll see it'll just automatically download and you got it right here. You can open it up in WinRAR or 7-Zip or whatever it is. So you just wanna come to Steam now. You close out of that, open up Steam and click on the settings icon in the game menu like this. And then you wanna click on properties. And then from here, you wanna go to installed files and then you wanna click on this browse button. Mine's kinda hidden by, um, this little pop up, but you click on browse. And then from here, you'll be in the Fallout 3 folder. So I have the game of the year version. So that's why I have that one. But you just want to go back to WinRAR now and minimize it, bring it over here, and then take this D3 D9 file and then just drag and drop it into here. So just like that. Oh, oh. that is not how you do it. Just drag and drop it anywhere into there. And there you go. Now it's in the Fallout 3 folder. So you can just close out of both of these now. And then come back to Fallout 3 and then launch it up. And once it's loaded up, you just want to click on new again. Start your new file and you click on yes. And now you'll be able to play without the game crashing. So now you can actually start your save and you can actually play the game now. So. That is how you fix Fallout 3 crashing on your ROG Ally. Once again, it's downloading that alternate D3 D9 fix on Nexus mods and drag and dropping it into your Fallout 3 game folder. So that's really all you need to do to fix it. And now you can just go and play the game and that'll be good. So if this helped you at all, make sure to leave a like and subscribe because that's all we post here. It's just ROG Ally fixes as well as some tips and tricks for the ROG Ally. But have a good one.